So um, welcome guys. We are in boot camp. It is Tuesday. We've got some regulars, some first timers. Very quickly, the theme of this week, coming off of a high intensity, high impact week is gonna be high intensity, but low impact. So there's not gonna be jumping around, but it's still gonna be very intense. Um, and we're gonna do some, some totally new stuff that we've never done before. All right, we're gonna learn the warm up first, start the music and then get it going. So the warm up never changes. Back of the mat, everybody, jumping jacks out and up. Oh, up, one, more, boom. You're there for 30 seconds. You land feet wide, you're gonna roll out into a high plank. Pause, inhale, exhale, push up, also on your knees is an option. Clap it up, stretch it up, you rock. Move number three, body weight squats, which I'll take you through once we get going. All right, so great. And by you're just in time to start the warm up. It's the same warm up. I'll give you the rundown. I'm starting the playlist three, two, one. And jumping jacks, just in time, out and up. So we're here for 30 seconds total. Also, if you're new, options to just fly with those arms. So I guess technically, keep it going. You guys have 15 seconds. Technically, it was misleading because we're doing jumping jacks. This is the only jumping. So let's get ready. It's going to be awesome. We're here for five, three, two, pause, feet wide, roll it out, high plank. When you get there, option to come onto your knees, inhale down, big exhale, stretch it up, clap it up, because we're back in the mix. We've got our full team on deck. Inhale down, big exhale, clap it up, keep going. You guys have 10 seconds. Body weight squats will be next. Form is looking good. Squats in three, two, one. Standing up tall if you want to open the shoulders. You can melt them down and away. You can have your hands here, out in front, even on your hips. So notice here with this table, keep going. I'm really sitting my butt low, but my chest is nice and open. So pretend you've got your table. Excellent work, guys. We're going to be here another 10 seconds, and then we're heading back into the jumping jack, all right? Give me three seconds. Nice squats, team out, and transition. Seamless, drama-free, ready for summer. Summer is here. Boom. Keep it going, 20 seconds. Let's see how we're doing. So once again, coming off a burpee variation week, of lots of jumping, last 10 seconds. We're taking it down a level in jumping. Final five, three, two, excellent. Feet wide, roll it out. Pause here, inhale, big exhale. Roll it back up, stretch and clap it up. Number two. Inhale down, big exhale. Stretch, reach all the way up. You guys, we're here for 10 seconds. Second round of body weight squats. We're gonna start the workout on the mat too, just so you know. 30 seconds, body weight squats, last move of the warm up. And then we're gonna have eyes up here, we're gonna learn our first thing. So other things to keep in mind, 20 seconds left. We're doing 40 second intervals today. Only three circuits, usually we do about four. We're doing a couple more moves. We're gonna start low and then we're gonna go up to standing and squats. Keep squatting for five, four, three, maybe one or two more squats, boom, and you're done, excellent. All right, Marissa and Amber, do you guys remember in the past, very recent past, we were doing these T-arm variations. So now we're gonna take the T-arm and we're going to take it into a bird dog. So this one, there's a couple moves that take some bits to learn. This is one of them. All four, simple enough. Bird dog, which means left leg, right arm. Okay, in and out. Step one is here, level one. Level two, we're going to take it to a T arm and out to the side with the legs. So it looks like this, out, in, out, T, back to center, here. It's kind of crazy. Let's try it really quick. Try it really quick before we go. Right arm up, uh, left leg, crunch it in, out, take it out to the side. Cool, so you're gonna be there 40 seconds. The second move is a traveling push-up. So you're gonna travel, push it up, 
travel two, three, push it up. Or on your knees, travel two, three, push it up. And then we're gonna do the other side with the bird dogs, okay? We're gonna get started. Bird dog, let's start with the right arm, left leg. I'm marrying you guys, here we go. So this one is a little tricky. It's really good for both the back, core, and we're also getting the glutes because we're doing that external rotation. So the key is here to stay level. Just like I'm on this table, when my arm goes out to a T, it's not flopping down. I'm flying with one arm. And with that glute, it's coming out to the side, external rotation, back in, knee drive, out, in. I feel like this family here is getting it and loving it. Five seconds. Five seconds to recover in two, one. Only five seconds, get in push-up position. We'll start to the right, down, up. Travel, travel, travel. Down, up. Travel, travel, travel. You may be moving at a pace slower than me. You may be going a little bit faster, but probably not much faster. This is definitely a quality over quantity. So if you need to take a breather so you can get a full extension on those push-ups, I support you. Nice, Ambar. Excellent with those push-ups. Look at that, Ambar should be in this pin position. The Katina has me here instead, short term. Last five seconds, looking good guys. Three, two, one. We get to practice on the opposite side with those bird dogs. So it's for me, left arm, right leg is my opposite. In, out, to the side level. The level part is so key. The level part is so key. In, out, to the side. When in doubt, just go in and stretch it out. In, stretch it out. Option two, in, out, T-arm out to the side with the leg, halfway there. So we've only added this additional challenge in just because some people here have been coming a bunch and it's pretty fun just to mix it up. Last four, three, two, one. Five seconds back to traveling push-ups, the second round. I'm starting to the right again, pushing up. Travel, travel, travel. Boom. Working and navigating around to the confines of my living room, not letting that deter us. Nice job, guys. Teresa, this is excellent. Really, really good. Solid commitment. All the way down with those push-ups. You guys are halfway there. And then we're gonna take it back to the top for a second round. We're gonna do two rounds. So back to the top is gonna be bird dog from the original side. Last five, three, two, one. Amazing, this is it. This last bird dog round back to the original side. For me, it's the left and right in, out, across. It should feel kind of cool. It's also like a windshield wiper. We've been playing with windshield wipers. Nice, almost halfway there. Once again, just to give you a heads up. Oh, I like how you guys are really like family navigating. You gotta navigate, claim your space. Very good. So guys, we're gonna finish this side in 12 seconds. We're gonna do a crazy third round of push-ups and then finish with the other side. I know this is tough. Keep your gaze slightly ahead, not straight down. Keep your chin up metaphorically as well. Awesome, five seconds of transition. I'm starting on the left for my traveling push-ups because why not? Here we go, push it up. Travel, travel, travel. Ambar is gonna lead us through this last round of push-ups and we're gonna stand it up, although we may or may not be coming back down. There's another new move I wanna teach you guys maybe at the end if we have time. There's actually several new moves, but let's stay in the moment. Let's travel with these push-ups. Last 15 seconds here. All right, guys, last 10 seconds of push-ups, then push-ups will be no more. So stay with it. Inhale down, big exhale, pushing through the thumb and the first finger. You've got three, two, one. Five seconds of transition. Final side, final side, bird dog, final side. In, forward, across. This is the second side. It takes a little bit of focus. And again, the closer you bring that knee to your elbow, 
knee grazing the navel, that's gonna make it harder. The more you elevate that knee when you come in, you fully extend like you're reaching for something you care about. You might tee at that arm out to the side. And same thing with the, the glute muscle, out to the side, back to the center. This is, couldn't be a better move. Whoever made it up, just brilliant. Keep it going for five, three, Nice, cool, eyes up here. So then we're gonna be coming into our sumo squat. We've been doing sumo squats with some lifting and lowering. Now we're gonna stay low. So we're gonna pulse here. So notice this is not the regular squat. It's more butt down, knees wide, drilling it down. So you're gonna pulse as much as you can. If you're dying, you're gonna die, but not really. You just come up a little bit, otherwise stay nice and low, that's one. Move number two, classic mountain climber. Knee to nose, we just practiced this knee to nose in a different way. Move number three is gonna be a low plank. Then we'll do it. So low plank, everybody in a second. You're gonna have your knees almost hovering and straighten your legs, that's it. But try it, try it now everybody really quick. Knees hover, back up. Just one or two reps. Oh yeah, oh crazy, okay cool. Teresa's like, I'm good, I'm done. All right, five seconds, we start with sumos. Don't quit on us now, guys. Pulses. Boom, 40 seconds, down, strong. It's like I could karate chop somebody. Boom, super strong through my feet, knees are going wide. I'm jamming, this one really requires you guys to dig deep. Again, option two, I just come up, make it a little smaller, a little smaller. Otherwise, I'm hanging out down here. You can see I'm really low in the zoom, more than halfway there. Option two, just a little bit elevated. 15 seconds, and then we're coming to a familiar favorite of mountain climbers. Nice guys. And team Marissa Lau, you guys don't, you can stay a little bit lower pulse and you don't have to come all the way up. Three, two, one. Five seconds, mountain climbers, knee to nose. Here we go. Option one, pulling your knee through fast. Option two, take it slow. Take it slow. Take it slow. If you need to come to a quick child's pose, feel free. We've got 30 seconds left. Otherwise, we're gunning for the Olympics. We gotta make it. 2021, it's my year. It's Marissa's year. Let's go. School's been canceled for 2021 for Olympic dreams. Let's go, guys. We're putting it all in. You've got 10, finish line right there. Guys, we're all at the finish line. We've got five, let's go, Ember. Three. Two, one, you don't have to go anywhere. Low plank in five seconds. This is where I wanna keep people engaged. Here we go, knees up. Woo. So again, if this is really a lot for you, you can stay in a low plank on your knees and then occasionally sort of test one knee at a time. If you're feeling like, I'm ready to feel what this is like, let me play with how close I can get without touching. It's pretty fun. We've got 15 seconds left. Go team, go team. We've got seven. After this, back to those sumo squat pulses. I know everybody's excited. Luckily, you're all on mute. Five seconds. We're moving on, back to the sumos. Here we go. So this is what it is. It's pulsing down. It's like down, 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 but knees go wide, strong through the feet. What it's not is down, up. This is a sumo squat. This is actually a little bit easier than pulsing, but option two, if it's a lot, because your legs are gonna burn, just come up a little, halfway. I'll give you guys a frequent time check. Nice guys, good adjustment. Isn't it harder? You can also like pop. I like to pop, pop sometimes. Last 10, and then we're coming down into mountain climbers. Excellent, Teresa. Oh my gosh, just focus, guys. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. Five seconds, mountain climbers. Fast or slow. Olympic trials, round two. Here we go. We get multiple tries. 100 meter dash. Maybe it's a four by four relay. I'm going to pass the baton to Ambar. 10 seconds. He's going to pass it to Teresa. Ambar's got it. We're at 26 seconds to go. Nice, cool, Teresa, handoff, 20 seconds to go. Let's go, guys, and all the way through. Again, your speed 
It's your race, we're running it together, but everyone's in their own lane. Nice, last one, Marissa, you got it. Last five, four, three, two, one. Incredible, low plank with the knee hovers, low plank with the knee hovers. We start in three, two, one, down, up, down, up, or down, and then occasional, maybe one knee. What does it feel like? It's kind of good to connect. I bet $100 that nobody has tried this variation before, but I'm glad to share the funds if I'm incorrect. <laughs> Whatever it is, you guys look great. I think we'll do a third round here after. I'm just feeling this for us. Last 10 seconds. Breathe. When in doubt, return to the breath. We've got five. Three, two, one, five seconds. We're not gonna rest on our past success. I'm gonna get low so you guys can see me in the Zoom. Boom, that's my cue. That's my cue. If there's a wall behind me, my back is super flat against the wall. I'm not leaning forward. So if I need to stand up a little bit to have this nice long spine, knees out wide. Boom, 28 seconds to go. See how we're doing, breathing. You can even close your eyes if you want. Just thinking what's going on, I got it. I can and I will. Last 15 seconds. I feel like a lot of mental clarity is gonna come out at the last 12 seconds. So good, stay with me. Five seconds and we're down to our climbers. Final round, guys. Final round for all these moves. Two, one. Let that go, five seconds. All right, this is it. Third round of the trials and we're off. Shh, shh. Big breath. Exhale, 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 exhale. Or slow it down, slow it down, boom. Either way, knee to nose as best you can. Your knee is not gonna touch your nose most likely. Nice job, you guys. But that's, you're thinking about it. Thinking is the first step to doing. All right, guys, you're rounding that bend. We're 15 seconds, we're gonna bring it home, we're gonna finish in that low plank. Last seven, then we're gonna get to stand up again and do more leg stuff and like karate, it's gonna be great. Three, two, one, five seconds. Low plank, I don't have to go anywhere. Three, two, one, low. Down, up, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I mean, all I'm doing is bending my knees and straightening my knees. Isn't that amazing that it's like hard? I think that's very cool. Spend some time just sort of feeling out. You've got 20 seconds to play around with it. I see some people just on the ground. Okay, I see them back up. <laughs> At the end of class, we can fall in a puddle, but not yet. Last eight seconds, not yet. Final five, so good, you guys. Breathe, then we're gonna break eyes up here. Two, one, and amazing, cool. Mini applause, that was excellent. Last set. We'll start at the top of our mat. Pulse for two, knee drive. We've been doing so much knee drives, so many knee drives. Pulse for two, knee drive, option two. Pulse, pulse, front kick. We're gonna do one side at a time. So we're gonna do this side. Then I'm gonna take the same left leg. I'm facing the side so you guys can see. Cross behind, center, side kick. Just like we did with that bird dog, my knee's coming in first. My foot is the last thing to go. It's the last thing to go. Notice I'm leaning to the side. Last option is crossover right into the kick. Okay, so we're gonna do one side and then we're gonna do the other side, all right? We're gonna start at the top of our mat, right leg back in five seconds. This is just our five second breather. Pulses with knee drive. So it's right step back for two, knee drive, or step back for two, front kick. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome, you guys. So we're staying on the same side of the body. We're gonna do two moves, primarily focus on the right side, and then we're gonna go to the left. So knee drive or front kick, there's no right or wrong. They're both good. Nice, Ambar. Try and keep, I know the balance is tough. It's gonna help you if you keep a slight hinge forward. You guys have 10 seconds left. So this hinge allows you to skate forward like that. Last three, two, one. Cool, you're gonna face the side Remember, the right leg's gonna go behind first. It's a cross behind. Cross behind, center, high up. Cross behind, 
center, boom, boom. Nice. And if you want to do like a mini kick, nice guys, this is good. This is all the things we're doing are very good for this group specifically. I, I feel like this group is very good at this sidekick stuff, unusually good. Nice. Keep have some fun. Focus on your target. We've got 10 seconds then. We've got our second side. Last couple seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Amazing. Shake it out. Five seconds. Then the left is going to go back. Pulse for two, knee drive. Pulse for two, front kick. Two options. Pulse, pulse, drive. Nice guys, so we're here. 20 more seconds and then we're gonna do the second side and we'll get to do two rounds of everything. Great, okay, cool, thank you. Um, Thanks guys. Okay, keep it going. You've got eight. Last two. One. Left leg's gonna go back for the crossover. We start in three, so I'm switching directions. You could also, if you're in the center of your mat, just go the opposite direction. For me, it's a little easier to remember if I go opposite. So same things. You bring that knee in first, and then at the last second, you flick through the heel. Halfway, guys. This is first full round in the books here, last 15. Last 10. Excellent work. Everybody looks great. Yes, Teresa, last three. Nice. I felt that one. Ouch. Five seconds. Last round back to the top, first side, that right side. Pulse, pulse, drive. Pulse, pulse, drive. This round, I wanted to save the surprise. We're gonna do 20 seconds each leg, so we're not gonna do the full 40. So I'll tell you when to switch. Meaning you'll do the same move, but 20 seconds each side. So you're here on the right for two, one, nice. Now the left leg, pulse, pulse, drive. Pulse, pulse. Drive. So we're going to do the same thing for the curtsy or crossover lunge, which means you'll stand in the middle of your mat, okay? But not yet. We've got seven seconds left. Two, one. Nice. Pick a side. I'm going to do the right leg behind. I'm in the middle of my mat. Cross behind. We start. Boom. So you're going to focus on this right crossing behind for 20 seconds, and then you're seamlessly going to transition to the left side. So because it's half the time, I know I'm going to get twice the focus, right guys? Last one and switch. Now left side. You don't have to go anywhere. You're in the middle of your mat. Left's going to go back. Woo. Back and nail it. Nail that target. Let it go. Let that Tuesday focus laser in on your target. Last four. Three. Two, one. Awesome. We're going to do one more move of just like a bonus. Excellent work. So guys, we've been doing forward planks. Tracy, you'll see at the end we do that. You know how we've been playing the uh, rest of the guys shoulder lift and different things? So this is called the reverse plank. It's another pretty challenging one. I'll show you from a diagonal. Option one, roll the shoulders back and down. Chest is up. Pressing up. Okay. Hips as high as I can. Pressing through the hands like my fingers are spread. Option two, bend the knees, head can be back, forward, whatever's comfortable. This is plenty. Don't only try this if you can hold it for 40 seconds. We're gonna do it for one round. We start in five, everybody sit down. Thank you. So we're gonna start in four, decide what you wanna do. And here we go. Rolling the shoulders, melting them back and away. Gaze is soft, either straight ahead or up. Pressing the hips to the sky like we've just got a parade. And if your knees are bent, that's great. Can you guys team Maurice allow even hips up a little bit more? Chest open. This one is called an iso, oh, we have a cat visitor. This is called an isometric hold. Sometimes it's hard to do nothing. Keep breathing. It's actually everything. It's not nothing. Brought to you by the Dalai Lama. Last 10 seconds. My gift to you is nothing, but it's everything. Final five. 
Three, two, one. Okay, cool. Shake it up. What's coming up last is our plank finisher. So we're going to do a minute center plank, either high plank or low plank, your choice. And then 30 seconds each side. Okay, that's our finisher. These guys know it. We have like one extra minute, so I want to teach you guys something. And if you like it, I'm going to bring it into next class, but it takes a second. So let me show you. All right, so we practice with the mountain climbers. So this is a move, we'll just learn it. We're not gonna do it in the series. Down dog, one knee comes in. Right leg hops in, right leg hops out, switch. In, out, switch. And I'm staying in this down dog position the whole time. So let's all try it, just for fun, there's no harm. Down dog, left knee comes in, right hops in, right hops out, right knee comes in. In, out, switch. In, out, switch. In, out, switch. Do two more. In, out, switch. Very good. In, out, switch. And relax. Shake it out. I'm not going to be offended. This is recorded. But thumbs up if you want to include that as a circuit in last and next class. And thumbs down if you're good. <laughs> thumbs down. OK, it's opposite day. Let's do our plank finisher. <laughs> Guys, that is a scathing review from your loyal instructor. All right, pick your plank. We're starting in three, two, one. Got it, noted. Katina, did you hear that? The review was highly negative. That's fine, because I'm sending, I'm sending an email after this. I'm just kidding. All right, guys, 15 seconds in, 45 to go. I appreciate the, the candor. This is a group, transparency is everything. All right, take a deep breath, in and out. We're almost crossing that halfway threshold. This seals it up. 30 seconds in, 30 to go. In a world that's ever changing, we can rely on the plank finisher. Nice, 20 seconds to go. I like some people are still holding that position, but maybe changing something a little bit to make it tenable for the last 10 seconds. We're gonna come onto the right, elbow our hands, but not yet because we've got four, three, two, one. Amazing, right side. I'm doing a modified side plank. You can also do one with a leg lift. You could do something cool. If I'm on my elbow, maybe I'm doing a tree pose. You guys were halfway there. Big breaths in, big breaths out. It's kind of like those low squats we were doing last 10 seconds. It takes a lot just to focus in. Final five. Transition to the left in three, two, here we go. Left side, no drama. Such a gift, just a seamless transition. I would love to work with you guys the way you transition that way. So clean, smooth, positive. Last 15 seconds, guys, then we're heading to child's pose. That's why some people come to classes for this last moment coming up in 10. Last five, so good, three, two, one. And child's pose, very well deserved. You can have your knees as wide as the mat. We're gonna take three breaths, you guys earned it. Big, big inhale, exhale, let it go. Two more just like that, big, big inhale. Exhale, let it go, last one. Big, big inhale, your biggest one yet. Let it go and slowly roll on up. And you can just roll the shoulders back for a second. We're just gonna close out in one second. Shoulders, if you have an extra minute after class, because we did a lot on the wrists, you can flex them sort of forward and backwards. Okay, we didn't do too much crazy with the hips because we did some hip openers, but the usual hip opener works. And then um, lastly, just because Katina actually joined, I mean, Katina is a steward of the club and always gonna be joining, she's always welcome. Um, but just so you guys know, let me just turn this really quick. I just wanted to reiterate because I'm looking to teach, um, continue to teach and to do more classes. This is boot camp. It's advanced boot camp. Tuesdays, 6.30 to 7 p.m., 30 minutes. We got only a couple thumbs down during the class. We have a delightful group. You guys crushed it. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's underscore fitness by Zoe. Um, I like to post additional workout stuff there and you can always send questions. Um, let's, let's do a round of applause for ourselves. What do we think? Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Teresa, it was great to meet you. I hope to see you soon. Ambar, you got to keep the streak bouncing back. Team Marissa, so great to see you. Thank you. Have a Thank great you guys. Night. Such a pleasure. Yeah. Have a good night. Take care. Be well. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Thanks, you too. Thanks. So good to see you.